everyone here's a question on integers and the question is three times the first of three consecutive odd integer is three more than twice the third the third integer is so if you read this question first then it's quite confusing like they have given a lot of things and a lot of uh, relationship between the first and third number so let us read the question once again and we'll start framing it three times the first of three consecutive odd integer so before we form the relationship here they're talking about three consecutive odd integers now what are consecutive numbers or consecutive integers now since they are given integers here this means this number can be negative numbers also right if they have given consecutive numbers that means the numbers has to be only positive now since we have given integers so this could there can be a negative numbers also here right okay so what are consecutive numbers or consecutive integers so the number which comes one after the other they are called consecutive integers consecutive integers for example uh, let me take here the simple one like 1 uh, 2 and 3 so 1 2 3 are consecutive numbers so i'm not missing out any number right i have written the numbers one after the other now if we're talking about the negative numbers like minus 1 0 and 1 they are also consecutive number because after minus 1 we have 0 after 0 we have 1 right so these are the consecutive numbers or consecutive integers but here they're talking about consecutive odd integers now what are consecutive odd integers now again you have to take the same thing but the odd numbers for example suppose my first odd integer is 5 the next after 5 we have number 6 but 6 is a even number so we should not take 6 the next we have 7 and 7 is a odd number and after 7 we have 8 but it is a even number so the next odd number is 9 so 5 7 9 are the three consecutive odd integers so i hope it's clear what they mean by consecutive odd integers now so here in this question we don't know the integers right they have just given that three consecutive odd integers so whenever something is unknown to us we have to assume a variable now let me assume that first odd integer here is x okay i uh, let me explain you how it comes so first odd integer i'm assuming is x so if my first number is x then next number will be what so to explain this let me take a example like 1 Okay, first odd integer integer is three, and then oh sorry one, and then I have a three, and then I have a five, right? One, three, and five are three consecutive odd integers. I'm just taking it here example to explain you the what will be the next odd number. Now here, suppose my first number is x, then what will be the second one? So to explain this, I'm gonna compare here. I'm gonna take a one and three here. To one, how much I should add to get three? So if I add here more two, I'll get three, right? Similarly, if you're finding the odd consecutive integer, so you have to add two to the previous number. So to this x, x is my first number, right? I have to add here two to get the second odd consecutive number. So x plus two will be x plus two. I hope it is clear how we go got it. Then the next one. to this 3 how much i should add to get 5 it is again 2 so if i add 2 here i'll get the next odd number again to this x plus 2 i have to add 2 to get the next odd number so x plus 2 is a number to this i'm adding another 2 so 2 plus 2 will become 4 so the next or the third consecutive number will be x plus 4 So whenever you're finding, or whenever there's a question regarding the consecutive odd integers, your numbers will be x, x plus two, x plus four. Okay. So now we understood how we're getting a three consecutive odd integer. We're gonna use this. I'm gonna we're gonna frame the equation now. So let me assume here. I'm gonna erase this part. So let three consecutive Three consecutive integers b. So since we're talking about uh, integers, your answer can be negative numbers also. If they have given just number, then your answer has to be uh, the numbers what you're getting. They have to be always positive. Now since they have given integers, so there's chances that your answer or the numbers what you're getting they can be negative too. Okay. So let three consecutive integers integers be x. The second one is x plus two, and the third number is x plus four. 
okay so far we have understood this now let us frame the equation now what we have given 3 times the first of 3 3 times the first means 3 times the first odd number first out of this 3 consecutive the first number they are talking about which is x here so 3 times times means multiplication so 3 into the first number first number is x right so it will be like 3x okay 3 times means multiplication and the first number is x here so 3 times of the first number will be 3 into x which will be 3x of 3 consecutive odd integer is is means equal so this 3x is equal to 3 more means your it's 3 more means more means addition 3 more than twice the third number so 3 extra so how much to this 3 is more to what twice the third number twice means 2 okay twice means double of the third number or 2 into the third number what is third number here it is x plus 4 so twice means 2 into into means I'm going to put the bracket here x plus 4 and then plus 3 so let me frame it once again see they have given that 3 times the first number three, the first number is x so 3 times the first number is 3x is 3 more than so this 3 is more to what twice the third number so twice means 2 into the third number we have taken is x plus 4 so twice x plus 4 that is 2 into x plus 4 to this there is a 3 extra so this will be the equation so once you have got this it's very easy you have to just get the value of x and then you're going to get the integers now i'm going to open the bracket because i have a here 2 into x plus 4 so this will be 3x is equal to when you open the bracket if you have an integer outside you have to multiply so 2 into x will be 2x plus 2 into 4 you have to multiply 2 with this 4 so 2 4s are 8 and then plus we have the 3 write down the 3 now here when you're solving an equation you have to bring all the variables to one side of the equation all the constants to one side so i'm going to take this 2x to the other side so i'm going to use a transpose method to when you're transposing the numbers the signs will change the 2x is a positive and transpose it will become negative so it will be 3x minus 2x is equal to 8 plus 3 will be 11. so we got 11 so 3x minus 2x will be x so x is equal to 11 so directly we got the like not directly we don't have to do further like just subtract 3x and 2x we got x so x is equal to 11 so the first number we have assumed that first number right x is nothing but the first uh, uh, out of this three consecutive odd integer the first number is x so the first number we got here is 11 now they are asking find the third integer so they are not interested in other integers we, we have to just find out the third integer third integer here is x plus 4 so I have to just substitute there so therefore third integer will be equal to it is x plus 4 right so x plus 4 in place of x I'm gonna put 11 so 11 plus 4 is equal to 15 so your third integer is 15 if you want to find out the second integer it will be 13 you have to just substitute here in x plus 2 so 11 plus 2 is 13 that's it so this is the answer i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching